We are going to start with a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all of our players. Ryan, Colin, and Wayne, you're going to be contestants on a dating type show, hoping to be picked by Brad, just like we all are. And uh, <laughs> each of them is given a strange characteristic or identity. They've never seen these before. Uh, they're the first time they're looking inside the envelopes. Brad, you're going to question them about their suitability for a date. We all know how it works. And uh, at the end, you're going to try to guess who they are. When you're ready, Brad, go ahead. Bachelor number one. <laughs> I love poetry. Write me a poem! A woman like you is so first-rate. That's how I equate you to this beautiful state. I'd love to run my hands through your rich, lush foliage. And to be your man would be my privilege. <laughs> Vote me. Bachelor number two. If I were a damsel in distress, how would you rescue me? <laughs> I'd have to think about it first. Uh, hopefully, if your face was on fire, I'd beat it out. <laughs> uh, Look deep into my eyes. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Woo me. Want you? Woo me. Oh. All right. Here, just once. Woo. <laughs> woo. 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 Woo, woo, woo. You might not win. That's <laughs> it. I'd love to get swept away. How will you sweep me away? Well, first I'd probably... <laughs> Take you down to a beach in Florida where we'd lie on the beach, look at the stars, many of which I've been to before. I don't know what. Okay, Brad, do you want to guess uh, who they are? I think uh, bachelor number one is a politician running for office. Yeah, he's running for governor, right? Yeah. I think bachelor number two thinks I'm the ugliest woman on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I think you're absolutely <laughs> false. And bachelor number three is either Jim Henson or he's had an alien coming out of him. <laughs> oh, you want to be correct. Thank you very much. That'll be uh, 100 points to Colin for finally telling the truth about Brad. 